Hi, Jenny. Hey, Janice. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm so glad to finally see you. Yeah, me too. I'm really excited to chat today. What's the story behind you starting Freya? I was preparing for like a really important interview and mm -hmm. I had my interview outfit ready and I was looking in my closet for a bag that I could wear to this very important interview and I just couldn't find one. Yeah. So then like during interview prep, I started thinking about, you know, what if I made my own company? What if I made bags? What if I made like really functional bags that people could use? Everyday, casual, functional, well-designed, thoughtful bags. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's kind of where the idea started. And I've always really loved bags and bags felt ap approachable to me in a way. Um, unlike clothing where there's like, you have to worry about sizing or anything like that. So I was like, mm -hmm. and then that night I was like, okay, I'm going to work on bags. And I started working on Freya that summer. Wow. You are very efficient. <laughs> um, <laughs> idea, you're just like, okay, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. I actually had a summer internship lined up for that summer. So like go to my internship during the day and at night I will work on Freya. Oh, um, wow. That is really cool. And, and I'm just really curious because for me, I started skincare. Um, obviously, I love skincare. I love K-beauty. And I grew up with parents who you know, they're from Korea and they love skincare, like everything you eat, put on your skin, everything is about maintaining the yeah. health and beauty of your skin. So, so there's that relation. And, but for you, you were not a designer. It was just purely out of like the, the love that you have for purses and bags. And then the trigger point was that interview. I think a lot of things just came together. Like I really wanted to build something on my own. I wasn't really passionate about any job I was interviewing for. Mm -hmm. And it was just like bags, like bags. Like I, I need to just make a decision and I wanted to do bags. The interview actually did come out good because that interview inspired you <laughs> to go on this journey of Freya. The interview was awful, but yes, it inspired Freya because I didn't have a bag, you know, maybe if I had a <laughs> for my interview. <laughs> do you feel like you're more of a free spirited entrepreneur type of a creative? I would like to think so. Um, I really... I really value like making my own schedule. I think that's the best part, yeah. you know, do your own thing. And yeah. like, you know, well, I can wake up at nine every day and I do. Yeah. So. For entrepreneurship, I think you need to have a certain sense of urgency. So yeah. like, hey, like if you don't make this work, you know, no one's going to pay your bills for you. Yeah, yeah, totally. And then that vision as well. So that's a little yeah. bit more background on um, Freya. I really like the designs. And Lisa actually said the texture, the fabric and everything, like the materials is really nice. A vegan leather, right? Yeah. It's vegan. Wow. So how did you start forming concepts for Freya? I know I wanted to launch with a tote because that's kind of what I was looking for. I was like, everyone, every woman needs a tote, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone needs like a, a work bag. That's what I was mm -hmm. looking for. That's how, that's how we launched. And we launched one month before the pandemic hit and everything shut down oh. and, you know no one was going into the office and here we were trying to sell a work oh. so yeah so ever since then I feel like the design has shifted um you can see our first bag was a very structured work mm -hmm. bag. so was our second and then our newest collection our newest batch has been like more softer everyday styles the nature of work has really changed like mm -hmm. it's just, hey this is your office bag it's kind mm -hmm. of like your everyday bag like you wear this bag to do work sometimes that could be in the office it could be a coffee shop you know it could right. be a gym so it's like bags that kind of work for everything it's like now. a lifestyle yeah it's like a like a, they're much softer than they used to be the bags that's so awesome you know, that's like part of the reasons why i like um entrepreneurship and small businesses so much is that you really have to like think on your feet right we have to come up with ideas and solutions by ourselves depending on what challenges come our way. Like COVID, you totally did not see that coming. And people just stopped going to offices. A lot of co-working buildings are also, you know, pretty empty nowadays too. So mm -hmm. then you're just kind of like, okay, what do I do? And now it's becoming this lifestyle thing, which is, I think, even better. The way I approach designing bags is from the inside out. So I think like, okay, I want this bag to have this list of functionality uh -huh. and then somehow package it up in a way that's also aesthetically pleasing yeah. so that's why we were so focused on functionality but now I think it's a little bit more challenging so I'm like okay I need this bag to look really really beautiful but also <laughs> functional our materials are made by a different factory than the factory that actually makes our bags oh, okay the material we use um so we've decided on our material from the beginning mm. 
and we use we've always used the same material um, we have one main material for the exterior and then we have two different ones for the for lining the oh. right and then the thing with bags, like we order the materials in different colors like it's mm -hmm. ordered in a color it's not dyed into that color mm -hmm. so like colors we have to decide pretty early on in the year mm -hmm. Sometimes we'll make it a little bit softer. Sometimes we'll change the, the exterior a little bit. So right. every batch is a little bit different. It's like every batch. Is of course. Yeah. And I, I really like that because it's like small batch business model so that every batch you get, it's not like a mass production thing that is going to look the same and, you know, feel the same or whatever. I think I actually like that. So it feels more unique too. Yeah. I think that was something that was really important to me ever since the beginning. So I was like, you know, I'm going to like Jenny, you know, Freya is not going to be the biggest brand and that's not my goal. But if I'm going to make something, I want to make it feel personal. Yes. Especially for our, our customers and like small batch is one way to do that. And also, mm. you know, we don't really have the budget to mass produce anything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was our only choice and it was the choice that I wanted to do too anyway. Like when we launch in small batches, we, and I like, so I, I answer every customer email. So I see like why people would want to return something or like mm -hmm. when they send me an email, be like, Hey, like, what if you made this in like this color or like a little bit uh -huh. bigger, you change something about it. And launching in small batches allows us to actually like listen to our customers' feedback. Like we've definitely changed things based on customer feedback or yeah, like, added really or, or, like our shoulder bag. Like we're making it a mini size because people return the big shoulder bag there. You know, I loved it. If only it was smaller. So a little bit smaller. Yeah. So we're making a smaller one. Oh, that's really nice. I think it's really important for brands and the teams to really um, listen to their own customers. Like some people will be like, this is the way I like it. I'm going to launch this. And if you don't like it, I'm going to have customers who like it. Mm -hmm. True. Right. That I, I, I believe that too. But at the same time, I think listening to feedback is also very important. It's not that you're trying to grab this customer's attention, but it's if somebody spoke up, there are like 10 other customers who thought the same, but just didn't speak up. So I think it's really good that you're so flexible with changing things up for them. Yeah, I think it's a balance. Like you definitely have to have your design vision. That's what people right. come with. like how I think of it is like, it's our brand, like Freya is our brand. Right. You tell me what you want. I will put my own spin on it and we'll make something together. It's like, oh, that's all awesome. like, I love that. <laughs> like our second bag was because like people like the big, the first bag, but they were like, really want a zipper. It doesn't fit my 15 inch laptop. I was like, all right, second bag. <laughs> laptop, and we're going to put a zipper on it. And then I'm going to make it a little bit more special. So that's kind of like how we have two sleeping masks too. Like we launched the first one. It's really for hydration and moisturizing um, and glowy. And then I started getting customer emails saying like, oh, you know, I have mature skin. I'm a little bit older. So I wish I would have something that's like for firming or tightening the skin. And so we launched a purple rice mask. So, so the two masks are a completely different um, functionality, like your bag. Um, yeah, so I, I really like that. And I think that's a good thing about small businesses. Yeah, is you really listen to your own clientele and your demographic and make something for them. So what do you think the future of bags and accessories will be? Work and life is kind of blending together. So you kind yeah. of need bags that work for every occasion. Mm. And I think regarding the accessory space in general, I think we were really lucky to launch at a time where the definition of luxury is changing a little bit so like bags I think used to be really hard to get into because everyone wanted a designer bag right. right like that a bag was a status symbol but now I think people are a lot more open to trying smaller brands like Freya mm -hmm. and like I think the meaning of luxury like one of my customers said like hey like I think the meaning of luxury isn't like designer labels it's you know getting to interact with a brand that actually makes right. you feel special and makes you feel listened to it's not so much like oh I want this brand of purse but it's like what is the story behind this brand and does it speak to me? Does it resonate with me? So Jenny, after going through it, you know, with starting your business and everything, do you have any advice for women who wish to start their own accessories brand or purse, anything? Yeah, I think, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm like in the position to give, give advice. Yeah. <laughs> right now, right? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think one thing, one thing that really helped me was documenting the journey. A lot of brands are like, okay, we're really transparent. And they tell you how they're transparent. But I think you really need to show people your story, especially if you're a small brand. Like our about page is very, very long. It's, <laughs> it's basically the entire journey of how I started Freya. And I wow. think 
that really resonates with people because I get a lot of emails from our customers. They're like, Hey, like I chose to support your brand because of your about page, because oh. I can see the story, because I could see right. the, the passion and like the thoughtfulness behind it. Like, even, even now, like mm-hmm. our journal, I'll write about things that go wrong. Mm-hmm. I'll write about the mistakes that we made. I'll write about the design process of every bag. I'll show you like what it looked like from the first sample to the one that you have in your hands. Mm-hmm. And I, like people think like, oh, like you can't show your failures, but no, like failures make you human. I think customers yeah. really enjoy seeing that. And even now, like I send a newsletter every month telling yeah. people like, this is what we've been up to. And this is why this is taking so long. And <laughs> this is why so awesome. I guess we're here yet. Um, but like our customers who have been around since the beginning and they've seen kind of the, like, we, I feel like we've kind of grown up together. Yeah. Um, like they're our biggest cheerleaders. And I've actually met a few of them in person. Like when they come oh. to New York, our customers would be like, Hey Jenny, like I'm in New York. If you want to grab a uh, coffee or grab some oh, dinner. That's so great. Like, I've met a few of our customers. That's awesome. I really love that because I think it's really important. A lot of people, when they start their brands, they think about it. Just, just like what you said, you know, mm-hmm. they want to present the best of themselves, the, like whatever looks the best. But really, it's like when you're making friends, you're going out there and making friends on the first day of school. You want to look presentable, yes, but you also want to be approachable and you want to connect. So mm-hmm. imagine if you're if, if you see this person all the time and they're always so ready. Perfect. Just yeah, perfect so in every way, all the time. <laughs> and then they don't really share with you their emotions, their backstory or whatever. Can you really be true friends with them can you really come like on a, like a different level maybe you'll be friends with them but can you really come like on a different level you can't so I really 100% agree with that the sharing your journey and really um be approachable right and a lot of people also say to me oh I'll be ready to launch my business when I have these already my design person my social media person. no trust me you just gotta do it just and then you'll meet the like-minded people on your journey and I think that is the best like you said, it's just about starting. Like you don't need to wait for everything to fall into place because it's yes. never going to all fall into place yes. ever. Like even yes. now, like, no, things are not. Yeah, I'm falling every single day. So exactly. yeah. <laughs> same. Thank you. <laughs> so lastly, we are doing a giveaway together. Yes, we are. And what are we giving away, Jenny, from your side? We will be giving away a $250 gift card to our uh-huh. website. Thank you for your generosity. Oh my gosh can't wait I know I can't wait I really want to see who wins this bag and for us I believe we're doing a hydration kit so they're gonna fit perfectly and beautifully together you'll you can be, put the skincare in the bag hydrated, you'll have a bag what else what else do you need what else do you need <laughs> what else do you need <laughs>